So in this video we're going to calculate the Taylor polynomial of fifth degree for the point pi over 6 for the function cosine of x. So the Taylor series you need the number of degrees so in our case n is 5 and at the point a and in this case our point a is pi over 6. So the generic formula is tn of x that's Taylor polynomial of degree n so that's in our case will be 5 and here we've got f of a so that's the value of cosine at point a which is pi over 6 and then here we've got the first derivative and the first derivative at point a which is pi over 6 divided by 1 x minus a which would be pi over 6 to the power of 1 then the second derivative at a a again would be pi over 6 2 factorial on the denominator and then x minus pi over 6 squared this time. And this time we've got the third derivative, pi over 6, divided by 3 factorial, and then x minus a, pi over 6, cubed. Now this time here we've got the pattern again with 4, 4, and 4. Fourth derivative at pi over 6, divided by 4 factorial, x minus pi over 6. And that's our generic formula, and so on and so on. So here you can see all the terms along. So here for our fifth term, we just plug in 5 for these ends here, because that's our fifth term. And there it becomes F5A, so that's 5th derivative of A, divided by 5 factorial, and then x minus pi over 6 to the power of 5. Okay, so next stage, what we want to do, we want to integrate, uh, sorry, differentiate the function cosine of x five times. So here we go, let's get this function up here. So cosine of x, differentiate it five times and calculate the value of each of those derivatives at pi over 6. So f of x equals cosine of x, that's our formula. So the value of that at pi over 6 is root 3 over 2. So that's our first calculation there. So that one there, which is f of a, which is f of root pi over 6, that then becomes root 3 over 2. So then we take the first and second derivatives. So the derivative of cosine is a negative sine. And the value of negative sine at pi over 6 is minus a half. So the value of sine at pi over 6 is a half. So negative sine at pi over 6 is minus a half. Then for the second derivative of cosine, we take the derivative that we just previously found, which is minus sine and we get minus cosine. So minus cosine at pi over 6 is the value of minus root 3 over 2. And basically it's just the value of cosine of pi over 6 with a minus. So that's pretty straightforward there for us. Then we take the third derivative, which is the derivative of minus cosine, and we get sine. And then the third derivative at pi over 6, which is sine, sine pi over 6, is a half. Well we knew here that minus sine was minus a half so plus sine is plus a half. Then again take the derivative of sine over x to get the fourth derivative and then we're back to cosine of x again which is where we was at the start and then the value of that we knew was root 3 over 2. So when you're doing the trigonomic functions and taking their derivatives there's a pattern where you get cosine minus sine, minus cosine, sine, and then back again, cosine, and then you'll see the next one we've got is minus sine. So we're back to this one here. So number one and number five derivative will be the same, as would be number nine derivative. The two number two derivative will be the same as number six and number ten. Three derivative will be the same as seven and eleven, and so on and so on. And so would all these values here as well. So we see the first derivative it's minus sine, and we got it again on the fifth, so again it's minus a half. So that takes care of that. Okay, so now what we need to do is just do one step at a time. So now we're going to substitute pi over 6 for all the a values. So there we go. So the, the, fifth, uh, the fifth degree Taylor polynomial of pi over 6. So here we go. So these pi's over 6's now have just been inserted where all the a's was. So we can sort of see what the next stage is as we go along. So there we go, just have a look at those there. And then what we got then 
we can now move on to the next stage so we can work from this formula here now just one step at a time so we don't get too confused so we insert the derivatives and calculate the factorials so f of pi over 6 we knew was root 3 over 2 so it's bringing up here to show you that so that one was there and then while we're here we look at the first derivative was minus a half so there's minus a half so that's minus a half and divided by one factorial which is one so there we go so the first derivative there is minus a half divided by one factorial so minus a half and one factorial so that would just become minus a half in the end then the x minus pi over six these values here in the brackets won't change so the next one is the squared value the second derivative so x minus pi over six squared so that will just come down that's just going to be the same and then we insert the second derivative which we saw was minus root three over two so now we're going to insert minus root three over two for this one here and we've got minus root three over two divided by two times two factorial so we've got the two factorial there on the bottom as well as the root the two from the minus root three over two third derivative we got here was a half so now what we're going to do is substitute a half for this derivative and then we get one half and then three factorial is six so that's six there so one over two times six and then the x minus pi over six cubed just comes down again and then doing the fourth derivative the x minus pi over six to the power of four that comes down again just the same and the fourth derivative was root three over two so root three over two gets inserted for this one here so there's our root 3 over 2 and the 4 factorial we calculated as 24 so then we've got root 3 divided by 2 times 24 so that would be root 3 over 48 and then the fifth derivative was minus 1 half so we substitute minus 1 half for this one here so minus 1 half is there and then the 5 factorial is 120 so minus 1 divided by 2 times 120 and the x minus pi over 6 just comes down with the power to the power of five so now we've got this here it just needs a little bit of tidying up now so now what we do is we can start calculating these denominators and we'll see if there's anything we can do to simplify them even more so the root three over two nothing we can do without that stays the same this one here we can tidy this up a little bit we can flip the plus to a minus to eradicate this minus one here to make it just a one then on the bottom 2 times 1 is 2 so the 2 can stay in the denominator and this pi x minus pi over 6 can just come up to the top and just make one 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 uh, part of the term so we can write it like this so it's nice and neat nice and not too much writing on there not too confusing now for this function this uh, this term here we've got minus root 3 so the minus can just flip this plus sign so we can just put a minus there and leave the root 3 2 times 2 is 4 and then the x minus pi over 6 squared we can just put onto the numerator so then we end up with root 3 x minus pi over 6 squared divided by 4 to the next term 1 divided by 2 times 6 we can just become 1 over 12 the 1 we can disappear and the x minus pi over 6 cubed can go onto the numerator then we end up with this one here this one here takes a little bit more calculating to just try and get rid of the root 3 off the numerator just to make it all on the denominator if we can so this 2 times 24 is 48 so 48 that's fine that's no problem with that but then what we could do to try and get rid of the root 3 on the top we could do root 3 times root 3 on the numerator and then multiply by root 3 on the denominator so if you have root 3 times root 3 that becomes 3 then the root 3 on the bottom can stay and then the root the 3 on the top if we divide this 2 times 24 by 3 we end up with 16 48 divided by 3 is 16 and then that x minus pi over 6 comes on the top and then we end up with a much tidier looking uh, term like this which is x minus pi over 6 to the power of 4 divided by 16 root 3 and then for the last term pretty straightforward the minus can just change the plus to the change this plus sign to a minus the x minus pi over 6 to the power of 5 can just come onto the top and the 2 times 120 can become 240 and then we end up with this value here so x minus pi over 6 to the power of 5 divided by 240
there we go and we are done and that is our Taylor polynomial for pi over 6 at the uh, at pi over 6 to the fifth degree and there we go and that is our answer complete okay thanks for watching